<clears throat> okay, it's time for the wrap up for today. This is the wrap up for the live market open for Thursday, April 21st. It's Draghi Day, D Day. Okay, and what's going on ahead of Draghi? The US dollar is looking a bit better, consolidating against commodity currencies, looking stronger against the euro, again against the yen, also a bit against the pound. Oil made a big break to the upside highest since November uh, after inventory data showed less production, less uh, crude inventories build up and a drawdown in gas and distillates. It sort of has the bigger impact. Tension towards the ECB and the euro is sliding, afraid of helicopter money. Perhaps yesterday we had bad figures from the UK, employment missed with weak wages and rising jobless claims. Oil inventories, uh, as I mentioned, were uh, okay. The other figures did not move the needle too much. Today we have UK retail sales, expectations are a bit low, but I will not be surprised if we'll have a rise thanks to um, Easter sales or something like that. But anyway, watch out for commentary that will dismiss the report because of the Easter holiday in March. A uh, big event, of course, as I mentioned, the ECB rate decision. Uh, 11.45 is the decision. We begin the broadcast at 11.30. The big event is Draghi's press conference at 12.30 GMT. Quick preview once again also in this wrap-up. No change in policy is expected after the huge stimulus package the ECB introduced in March and hasn't yet fully implemented. The last part of the implementation of the TLTROs is waiting for June. The big question is the tone. Will Draghi, Pat and the collective back of the ECB see the glass half full because of some improvements in inflation? Uh, and Or will he um, be negative, try to talk down the euro, see the glass half empty? He could find also a middle ground uh, of keeping the door open for further cuts if necessary, uh, because we already learned that from the media in minutes, and also asking for some patience for the measures to work and talking about success. As always, he'll talk, ask governments to do more uh, because the ECB cannot, he already said in other words that the ECB is the only game in town and it cannot last forever. The big uh, elephant, if you wish, the big thing that can move the euro down is hints of helicopters, the choppers are coming. If he talks, that, if he says there was a discussion of helicopter money, that means putting money printing new money and giving it directly to Eurozone citizens. Uh, that could be a big negative for the Euro, but also could trigger, uh, um, well, criticism of doing something that is illegal, that can trigger inflation, and that can, uh, and the ECB eventually cannot implement, and it will also be admitting its failure. So, um, well, it's, it's a nuclear option, helicopter money. So if you go for uh, using a nuclear bomb, well, there is a fallout. Anyway, that's the big uh, event for today. We've seen the euro dollar weakening. My suspicion is that it could bounce a bit back, not too much, not like in previous events. Of course, I, um, I lower my expectations for little movements in euro dollar and inside hope for much bigger ones. Okay, other events we have today on the agenda. Everything basically is overshadowed by Draghi. We have jobless claims in the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index at 12.30 GMT. Jobless claims were quite positive last time. We have Mark Carney talking once again at 2 GMT um, and Eurozone consumer confidence overshadowed by Draghi quite easily. Also the CB leading index in the US. Okay, uh, let's just take a quick look at charts before uh, in this wrap up before we head off. So Euro dollar uh, extending its slide now at the downside. It fell under 113.35. It was in the 113.35 to 114.60 range. Uh, support at 112.50 and 112.15. Euro, uh, pound dollar, 143.50. Flirting with this line a bit lower than yesterday uh, with the US dollar regaining some strength. Dollar yen at the highest levels in, well, in a few weeks. 110 is resistance. Uh, we're sort of at the high end of the range. Dollar CAD, Canadian dollar is still looking good. It reached uh, dollar CAD reached new lows yesterday, but we are seeing some kind of consolidation. Uh, the round 125 level is below. 127.50 is very strong resistance. 
Aussie dollar also made it to new highs yesterday, but didn't go too far. 78.40 is resistance. Uh, 77.40 is support. And the Kiwi dollar here, we're seeing a bigger consolidation, uh, finding support at um, yeah, 60, yeah, 60. And 950, 70. Let's see if it reemerges as resistance. Anyway, the big event is, of course, the euro. We had here uh, uh, Luca talking about trade plan about euro yen. Maybe we'll just take another look at euro yen uh, consolidating, but maybe it's the calm before the storm. I'm sure we'll have choppy movements. Um, I don't know in which direction in the past we've seen the euro sell towards the event and bounce back up. Again, helicopter money is the nuclear option. The mere mention of a discussion of this wild concept uh, can do a lot. Okay, so uh, let's see here another comment before we go. Um, uh, on oil, I see 45.75 is quite a strong resistance. 0 0.23 fib of decline from June to the 15 highs. Yeah, I think uh, 40, the 45 level will also be watched by others because it's a round number and uh, yeah in general I still uh, remain a bit bearish on oil because uh, once we have higher prices we'll have higher production and uh, there is a limit I think there's a bigger cap there's uh, the path of least resistance is to the downside uh, at least from these levels anyway uh, wish everybody safe and successful trading day in the markets uh, we'll be here, of course, tomorrow. Uh, invite you once again to come to the live coverage of the Draghi Show from 11.30 GMT. All right. And um, so that's it for today. Uh, thank you and bye-bye.